I'm live on YouTube. I am. It's loading to go live on TikTok, surely. Um, good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Oh, I don't know what is wrong with TikTok today. I'm trying, but my screen is black. I'll try again. And until then, thank you for joining the live. I know there are a lot of persons waiting on me over on the other side. So I'm still trying to, to log on. I'm having a little lag. So just please bear with me. I'm getting a message. Thank you for the likes, guys. Thank you, Madam Baby Channel. I'm fine. I'm actually fine. I'm trying to to log in to my fans on on TikTok. But I'm having a little difficulty. So I'm just asking you guys to just bear with me. Ah, I think I'm live. I think I'm live. I just went live a while ago. Um, yeah, I think I'm there. No, I'm not there. Let me try again to go back on. Don't know what is. <clears throat> don't know what is happening today, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty. I'm going to. I'm still trying to go on though. So I'm going to try and come off and go back on. All right. Um, for those who are just joining, for those who are just joining, please remember to leave your thumbs up. We have a very interesting topic today. I know um, those of you who are on TikTok, they are looking so much forward to it. I want to thank you as well. I don't know what is wrong with the platform, but I'll, I'll try. It's it's actually taking a little time to load. Don't know why. But let's see. All right. All right. So please just bear with me. If you have any questions in the interim, you can ask. We have some persons who are coming on the live. Please remember to leave your thumbs up. All right, live. That's, that's the difference between the two platforms. One of them is more um, uniform when it comes on to, to certain things because I can just easily press and go live that way. All right, let's try it again. So it's loading. Yes, yes, resume. I just paused. All right, it's loading now. 
I am missing some persons from my chat. I'm missing. All right. It's, it's actually giving a little issue today. I don't know why. All right, it says that it's loading. So let's see who is on and waiting. Two, one. And we're live. All right. Thank you for joining the live. And I'm on both lives. I'm on YouTube live as well as being on TikTok live. So I want to thank you all for coming. For those of you who are on the TikTok live and those of you who are on the YouTube live, I'd like to say good afternoon, good evening, and or good night. Thank you very much for coming to this live session. It will be very informative today as we are talking about high electricity bills. Are you at fault? And we're going to look at some solution tips. Yes, we're looking on some solution tips. Thank you, British, for joining the live. Thank you all who are coming in on the TikTok live. Thank you very much. All right, so our, our Topic today will be the high electricity bills, are you at fault, and solution tips. It is normally said that, or you'll hear the, the saying quite often, that I did not use that amount of light, yet I'm getting a high electricity bill. Thank you for coming to the live, Ducky. Thank you for coming to the live, lovely. Thank you, Storm Chaser, and I am Jeeva. Thank you for all coming to the live. For those of you who are just joining the live, welcome. I'm on, I'm actually streaming on two platforms. Thank you, Dad. Hi, Storm. I'm actually streaming on two platforms. I'm streaming on TikTok Live as well as I'm streaming on YouTube Live. All right. Thank you, Mad Dog, for coming in. All right. Now, like I said, the topic is high electricity bills. Are you at fault? Majority of the times we receive a high electricity bill and the first thing that we do is say, I'm not at fault. I'm not at fault. And it's quite understandable and expected for us to think that we are not at fault. And one of the reasons why it is easy for us not to think of ourselves being at fault is because we really don't see we really don't see what we're doing wrong. We don't. Thank you for joining. Um, thank you for joining, Pauline. For those who are joining the TikTok live, could you please just press the like? Thank you very much. Tap that screen so that we can get the amount of likes that it can go out to other persons who may be interested in the topic today because it, it's proven to be an, a nice topic. Thank you for coming. New gent and Lone Wolf, thank you for coming. Right, so majority of the times we receive a high electricity bill, we say that we're not at fault. And it's quite understandable because we really don't see what we do to incur this high electricity bill. Um, especially nowadays when we think of just working. So we're working and while we're working, we're hardly at home. And thank you for, for being here, Storm Chaser. But you're at two place, Storm Chaser. <laughs> right. So especially those of us who, especially those of us who have to work and the kids are still at school now, we find it impossible to even think of us incurring a high electricity bill. Now, especially at this time, coming onto the silly season, that's when our bills will get exceptionally high. And if you really think about it, we should, especially in, hi, Kayla, thank you for coming, Mikey. Thank you for following me, Mikey. 
as soon as I can and I'm able to, I will follow you. It may not be later because my my um, page was shadow banned. So I'll have to wait probably about two more days. Right. So especially now, now that we're going on into the silly season, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's assumed that you and I have up these nice little lights and because hi Evan Sterling and because they expect majority of us to have the lights up to me I think that they they feel that we deserve this high electricity bill now in in all honesty sometimes we are at fault sometimes we really we are at fault for these high electricity bill I have experienced this high electricity bill myself and please guys who are on the live if you have any question at all in terms of conservation when it comes on to solar when it comes on to saving water when it comes on to even saving or remember the overall goal is conservation so if you do have a question you can stop me and ask i'll be willing and able to answer you all and thank you very much for coming right so what we have what we have found is that we tend not to blame ourselves and it 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 did happen to me hi motorola king thank you for coming to the youtube live right we we tend not to blame ourselves and I think we tend not to blame ourselves because we find that we just don't want to believe that we ourselves are the, the reason why these bills are high. And let me explain to you. It happened to me where one summer, hi Neville Allen, thank you for coming to the live Gemini Queen, unknown for now, thank you. Right, so it happened to me where I had company over and the company was from overseas the persons were from overseas and they were at home even when i was at work using air dryer um laptops what whatever it is that would feed from my electricity this was what the person was hi Shanika Stewart, hi Omar. Thank you for all coming to the, the TikTok live. Please, guys, just press the like button. It will be appreciated. Tap that screen. It will be appreciated. Thank you very much. Right. So I find that these persons were here and they were using electricity. My microwave was being used often. I don't have an electric stove. They were running in. Hi, Peter Gay. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Storm, for liking the live. Right, so I find that my refrigerator was opening even when I was not here. And I wouldn't say the television set was what my internet was being used. It's plugged in. Well, it was always plugged in. So whether or not persons were here, my internet, my internet connection was on. Thank you for coming, Jamila. And what I found at the end of the month i received an electricity bill for i think it was twelve thousand. no it was something like fifteen thousand dollars thank you for coming philip right it was something like fifteen thousand dollars and with that fifteen thousand dollars electricity bill i was in all honesty i was upset and the reason why I was upset was I didn't expect my electricity consumption to go up so much. I, at that point, I told myself I'm not at fault and there's something wrong why my electricity was going up. Anyway, I sacrificed and I paid the bill that month. When I paid the bill, 
it it so happens that the next month because if the person was here um in the middle of one month to the middle of the other month so then it would it would span thank you storm it would span two two electricity bills being produced for those two months so the first one i told you was in and around the, the 15 the next one came higher the next one came thank you brown for joining the live the next one came at i think it was like seventeen thousand dollars at that point i was mad because in my head there was an electricity leak in the house there was an electricity leak in my head because i can't see because at the time when the bill was sent this person was long gone the person was long gone hi this own williams thank you for joining the live nobody joined the live as well thank you um right so the person was long gone and i thought that i should not have gotten this huge light bill because the person was gone and in in fact i wasn't hearing the day when they were using all of this electricity consume they were consuming so much of my electricity so what i did i thought that my electricity was leaking and for those of you who are not aware electricity can leak so thank you madam baby channel madam daily baby daily vlogs right so electricity can leak now with that electricity leakage it can cause your light bill or your electricity bill to really escalate so what i did was i asked i asked my brother-in-law at the time to just come and check and and that's a good thank you fitzroy for joining the live and that's a good thing too guys whenever you feel thank you shell whenever you feel that you have an electrical problem don't don't visit the power company first the first thing that you need to do is to consult uh, an electrician and consult the electrician to just come and test let him or her come and test to see if there is actually something wrong at your home thank you for coming nolly morning to you as well right so so find out as well if the electricity fault or the electricity increasing like that is actually your fault don't take for granted that it's not your fault so um you know something is wrong the power company need to come and check because can i tell you thank you for the likes nolly can i tell you and for those in tiktok please just like tap tap that screen right so what what will happen is what will happen is you need to first make sure that it's actually not your fault when you ask the power company to come and check they really i've never seen them come inside your home to check it out all they do is stay stay at their their um office and just look to see if the meter is accurately reading that's all they are doing and can i tell you majority of the times within they could have probably given you this information thank you baron Tong, and thank you yvonne wallace for joining the live right so they could have stayed in their office and tell you that hey look here there's nothing wrong they could have stayed there and tell you that but what they do they delay it a little 
and then they come back and tell you, oh, we have made our checks. No one is coming out to see if there's actually um, anything wrong inside your home. So my suggestion to you is to get that electrician to come and let him check. Let him pull that panel box and test. You may have an issue. Majority of the time, you really don't have an issue. And remember that the, the meter is the way that they use to find out your consumption for the month. So now you ask the electrician to come, which I did. And the, the electrician came and he tested, he checked. Thank you for joining, Ivan Wallace. He came, he tested, and he checked. And when he checked, his suggestion was, there's nothing wrong. And for those in TikTok Live, for those in YouTube Live, please, if you have a question, ask. Ask. Stop me. Ask. Remember, we're in this thing to conserve. We really don't want to pay them this exorbitant electricity bill. We don't. So we have to find a way. We must find a way to alleviate ourselves from that high electricity bill. So I was telling you that the technician saw nothing wrong. However, he gave some practical ideas. Thanks, Motorola King. Motorola King is saying true. So he gave some practical ideas, which I adapted. Now, at the time I had, I don't know if you, you would remember it, I had the electricity, the, the light bulbs that they called fluorescent, right? I had the fluorescent light bulbs and with the fluorescent light bulbs, I had them in every room. So, you know, you're going to a room. I, I didn't normally leave my my light bulbs on. The high black queen, the technician or the electrician suggested that I changed out all these fluorescent light bulbs to, I have 42 viewers on TikTok. Could you please guys just tap that like button? so that I get some likes that it can go out to other persons. And please remember, guys, whenever you have um, a live stream, it's best for you to just press that, that tap that button so that the, the algorithm can push, push more of the, the live stream to other persons. And I'm sure other persons are having these issues as well. So the, the technician, like I told you, he told me to change out the light bulbs. At the time, I had about, I would say probably about 14 light bulbs that had to be changed. And he suggested that I change them to the LED. And the LED light bulbs is more energy efficient. Hi, you boy. Thank you for coming to the live. Black Queen is still here. Right. So the, 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 LED, the LED light bulbs is able to make you conserve more. And how it does that, it's an LED for those who don't know is light emitting diode. So the LED light bulbs is able to allow you to use less and you may still be able to get that bright illumination from it, depending on the wattage that you would have purchased. So take, for instance, when he said I was to change out those, those light bulbs, I did. And I got the, the highest light bulb that I got was... I think it was 12 watt. I've never purchased a 12 watt in a fluorescent lamp light before. I, for the fluorescent light, I was going like 25 watt, 30 watt, those, those high numbers. 
But for the LED, my lowest was 3 watts and my highest was 12 watts. And I use the I use the 12 watts light bulbs. Thank you for coming to the live, guys. Please remember to, to like that. Hi, GK Vlog. Thank you for coming. Right. So I use the 12 watts on the outside and the, the lower wattage light bulbs. I would use them in things like the bathroom, the living room, things like those. And then I would probably use the seven watts in the bedrooms because you sometimes you're in your bedroom, um, probably you're reading, so you want that that high illumination. Hi, Omar, top flight. Thank you for coming. Black Queen is here again. Right. So, um, I have a question on YouTube live. Motorola King is saying. Do you have a machine to test the watts on the bulb? Yes, I do. I have a, a tester. I think it's, I've used it before to test the bulbs and not only the bulbs, I've tested even the, the air freshener dispenser. Once it can be plugged in, I have used it to test it. You can probably look on one of the blogs, Motorola King. And for those of you who are on TikTok Live, the for those of you who are on TikTok Live, the topic is high electricity bills. Are you at fault? And we are giving solution tips in the interim. Um, so Thank you again, Storm. Right, so the changing them out for the first month, as a matter of fact, when I tried to change them out, I had contacted the power company. And I think I did so based on the fact that I wanted them, I wanted them to know that I had these LED lights. However, when I called them and I inquired about the cost for their light bulbs, I was getting, I think it was three light bulbs. Hi, Marlene. <laughs> I was getting three light bulbs for about, I think it was 15000 I think it was $5,000 for one. I made the decision to get it online where I paid one US dollar for one. So I purchased all 14 light bulbs at once. I purchased different types of light bulbs. I, and if you look on the vlog, you'd have seen that there, there are actually different types of LED light bulbs. Thank you, Dimitri. There are actually different types of LED light bulbs that you can use and for those of you who are not aware, you need to know the different or the varied types of LED light bulbs that are out there. You, you can, you need to know. And one of the reasons why you need to know the varied types of LED light bulbs out there is because it will make you have an, or make an informed decision as to which light bulb you would use where. Now, my, sockets for the original hose they're on the wall so what i found that when i was using the one that looked like a pear it's pear shaped like the 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 old incandescent light bulb incandescent light bulb when i used that one i wasn't getting the required illumination from it when i used the one that they called horn LED light bulbs. Um, Storm, I soon answer your question. When I was using the, the one on the, the, the corn shaped one, I realized that for the those who have the socket on the wall instead of in the roof, that horn light bulb worked. 
it, it provides greater illumination, even with the wattage being low. Um, Storm Chaser is on TikTok and he's asking, Smart, do they still sell the old light bulb? The old light bulbs are called incandescent light bulbs, and yes, they do. As a matter of fact, um, Storm, it's actually cheaper. And what you will find, thank you for joining pain. What you will find is that persons will be eager and quicker to purchase those because they are cheaper. However, when I, and there's a, hi cause, thank you for joining. There is a vlog on my YouTube channel where I am able to see what wattage it pulls out. Remember, the bigger the wattage, the more it will pull. And especially for those incandescent outside lights, because persons tend to want bright lights for outside. And it's a it's a security, it's a security reason as well why they want this bright light outside. Yes, guys, thank you for liking the live. Please remember to like the lives, it will make it reach other persons out there. Right. So you, you find that for the outside lights, they tend to want these bright lights. And I can't blame them. However, there's a solution for that. Now, when the technician told me to change them, I changed them. And for the first month after that, the light bill went down. Now, what some of us will find is that once that light bill go up, it's hard to draw it back down, but it can be done. Thank you for joining the live, Farmer and Sim Stew, Lady D as well. Thank you. Right, so what you will find is that you can pull down back those light bills to a manageable amount, but you just need to know how to do it. So, okay, he told me about the, the light bulbs and the light bulbs worked. Then he suggested as well, he only told me two things. He told me to change, change out the light bulbs that I had. I did it for all 14 lights. And it worked. The light, the light bill came down. Now there is a thing that is called. There is a thing that is called self actualization, and it can happen with you trying to conserve, and you you are trying to conserve so much and no more with the same equipment. And let me explain to you. Now. I changed out those light bulbs and changing out those electric those light bulbs, I would use them as normal. So if I was using, say I had to go outside and I had to switch on the light. Previously, I had the, the 100 watt um, incandescent bulb out there. However, I now have a 12 watt. So while it would give me a saving for the first month, thank you, Tains. Thank you, Gary Campbell, for coming to the live. For those who are joining the live, please remember your like. And for those on YouTube live, please remember your thumbs up. Right. So what had happened was that it was pulling down the, the electricity bill, but it only happened for that month. Only that month. Yes, the bill would continue um at that said amount if i was doing the same thing i was doing the month it came down it can't go down anymore and and that is something i need for you to understand so if you change out those light bulbs it means that in order to pull it down some more you need to be doing something more so the next thing that the technician told me or the electrician told me was to get a refrigerator timer and the thing with the refrigerator timer is hi Otis thank you for coming to the live Amari Chrissy thank you for coming to the TikTok live the thing with the timer was I was thinking but my refrigerator already has a timer on it and 
that was what I sat and I thought about. And I was saying, why do I need another timer on it? Anyway, I researched it and I realized what the timer was for. Now, I'll show you a picture of the timer for those who doesn't know. What the timer is able to do is to assist you in your conservation journey. And this is, this is how it does it. So what it does is you have, you have, um, say, how must put it now? You have your refrigerator running for 24 hours of the day. And especially those of us who have the conventional refrigerator, we know that the more you open that refrigerator, then when you close it back, the compressor keeps going and going and going. The compressor is working harder so that you're able to, it's able to continue cooling whatever it is that you have in that refrigerator. Remember, there's two sides to your refrigerator. You know? There's a top that keeps things frozen, and then there's a bottom part that keeps things frozen, that keeps things cool. Now, what normally happens with the conventional refrigerator is the top part that keeps those things frozen pushes that cool air to the bottom so that the bottom part can keep your things cool. Thank you for coming, Ron, Smart, and Nadine. Thank you, Label, as well, on TikTok Live. So it is able to push down that cool air on whatever produce or you have your eggs there. So whatever it is that you have down below the refrigerator part or the freezer section, it's able to push that cool air down. When you open either doors, thank you, Healthy Habits. When you open either doors, it causes the compression or the compressor of that refrigerator to be working harder. And when you hear, you can hear that, that compressor. When that, refri that compressor is working harder, your, your power meter it's it's going harder so it's 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 like it's absorbing a lot of electricity at that point your wattage is going up because it's working harder um yes guys please ask your question any questions please ask don't feel don't be afraid um healthy habit is saying hello everyone healthy habit i'm on for those guys who are just joining I'm on two live stream. I'm on TikTok live and I'm on YouTube live. Please remember to leave your thumbs up and please remember those who are, are on the TikTok, please just tap that, that screen so that I can get the likes to spread out to those who are not at the live. Right, so the timer now that he was telling me about, I did my research and what I realized with that timer is it would stop my refrigerator from running 24 hours. Now, if I can cut down, I was thinking that if I can cut down the number of hours that I'm using my refrigerator, then that will be a plus to me. That was my thought. And... I decided to get one and try it. Now, when I decided to get one, I thought of getting it from the power company as well. However, by this time, the store that they had that sold these things, it shut down. It shut down, so I was not able to get it. Thank you for the likes, guys. Right, I was not able to get it. No, I decided to do my research online to see if I could get it online, and I did find one. And I'll show it to you. For those in YouTube, this is it. This is how it looks. 
And for those in TikTok, this is how it looks. Right? Now, the, thank you for joining the live, guys. Right. Now, the, the thing with that timer is that it can be used for numerous applications. So if you have, a, I've seen persons used it on their lamps. So they would have a lamp in the living room and they place the timer. They plug the, the lamp in the timer. And at a particular time, because you set the timer and the, and the timer has to be set. Thank you for coming, guys. Please remember to, to tap that screen. And for those on YouTube, please remember the like. Right. So what would happen is from time to time, it would, because you set these timer to whatever time you want this thing to come on or off, it makes it easier. You won't have to remember, oh my, it's seven. I need that, that, um, that, lamp to be turned on some persons turn on things inside their home as security for, for security reasons i've seen persons left uh light on for the entire night and that's a form of security i guess it's their comfort i've seen it happen some persons do that um thank you winston for joining the live and race as well so these persons know decide to get the timer for their lamp i wanted the timer for my refrigerator so i bought it it came i got it overseas it's it's sold locally for those of you who are thank you chrissy thank you tt thank you Starboy. right so for 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 those of you who are asking it can be had locally but at the time i did not know that so i purchased mine online and it came when it came i programmed it for shutting down my refrigerator um amelia no i don't play much here i'm sorry i don't what i do is I have live sessions that teaches you how to conserve. I'm sorry. Right, so I set that timer for seven days a week. And for that seven days a week, my refrigerator would shut down at, I think it was 9.30. Right, it depends if it's daylight saving time or otherwise at 9.30 and it would come back on at 7. So it's, let's check it. It's 30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30. It's 8.30 and a half hours. Hi, Vision. And Nene, thank you for joining the live. I set the timer for having my refrigerator shut down for eight and a half hours. For those who are joining the live on TikTok and YouTube, for YouTube, please press that like button. And for TikTok, please, I'm asking you for that for that tapping. Just tap the screen. Press. Um. Let Let me get some more lights. Right. So, what happened is, I realized that when I do and at the time i had the conventional refrigerator that was one i had no what i realized with it was using that using that um timer it sent my bill down and no i did not lose anything that i had in my refrigerator everything was intact I didn't have any spoilage of meat. I didn't have any spoilage of produce. Nothing at all spoiled. Everything was intact in my refrigerator. 
So don't be afraid to use that time. I've seen persons use the time up for five hours per day. You have some persons who don't want to use that timer. Thank you for coming to the live, guys. Please remember to tap the screen on on um on TikTok. And for those in YouTube, please remember to press that like button. Right. So what I find is that some persons are able to remember to unplug that refrigerator. I'm not going to leave that thing to my memory because I just want to have to get up and go in the morning. So if I do get up, it's time to prepare myself for work. Hi, Louisa Lifestyle and Travel. Yes, I, I do have ads. Right, so it's just time to get to work and prepare myself for work, prepare breakfast if I have lunch to prepare. It's lunch and then I'm out that door. I really don't have the time to be even remembering that I have to plug in back that refrigerator. And I don't want the chance of it being left to my memory where I have this refrigerator outstanding without any, any form of power for the entire day. I, I could not have afforded that, not with the, the hectic, hectic mornings I have. So getting that refrigerator timer, it helped. And I'll show you again, for those who don't remember, or those who are just joining the live, this is the time I'm telling you about, and it can be used on the, for TikTok, this is it, right? And it can be used on the, anything that, that en enables a plugin that you may have for 24 hours that you want to be only on for selected times, you can use that timer. Um, I've heard things about the, the timer where some persons say when it, when your refrigerator should chip back in, then it would move your, your power meter up some more. It has never happened to me because the first month after using that timer, then I was able to save quite a lot, quite a lot. I didn't have any issue with my um, electricity, quite a lot. That caused me to save quite a lot of electricity, that timer, because the refrigerator was one of the things that I had on 24 hours. I do have... I still do have things that run for 24 hours inside the house, but it's it's something that I'm working on to remove it from that 24 hours. Now, we're back to the question. Do you think your high electricity bill is your fault? Or do you think it's the power company? Now, sometimes we tend to blame them. And let me tell you how I do cast the blame on them. You will have a set, you will have a set number of, um, what you call it now? You have a set number of mm, consumption power consumption. So you look on your, your bill monthly, and when you look on that bill, it tells you the amount of power that you're consuming or the amount of power that you have consumed for that month or that period. Because some of our, our bills move from probably the middle of the month to the middle of the other month, depending on where you live or depending on which cycle you have. You have some bills that are produced every 30 days now, sorry, if you have a bill that is produced for 30 days, remember that there are some months that have 28. There's a month that has 28 days, and there's a month, some months that have 31 days. So when you really check it out, it will be a bit um, overlap. We are probably one or two days is in the other month. Now, um, 
Motorola King is saying it's our fault. I'll, I'll tell you how it's their fault sometimes. You you get your, your bill and you use possibly, say, 100 kilowatts for the entire month. And with that 100 kilowatts for the entire month, you have been using that January, February, March. Please, guys, if you have questions, please ask. Don't be shy. And please tap that screen so that we get the likes that we want so that they can reach other persons out there. Right. So you have a bill or a, a set consumption every month. It means that you're doing the same things over and over or you're using the same things inside your home over and over. And this is expected because you have some persons who create a routine at home. So they come home in the evenings, um, look after something to eat, feed the family, and then they would either relax in front of the television set just to probably watch news after that, turn it off, um, prepare by prepping for, for breakfast the next morning and then off to bed to do the same thing, getting up in the morning, um, preparing breakfast, getting that shower, and everybody everybody gets ready and we're out. And, and especially now at this time, especially now at this time, we have to wake up. Uh, it's not a bit earlier, but the time is darker. So you find that in the morning, we may have to turn on those light bulbs. So we have that routine going. On Saturdays, it's another routine. And again, you may deviate from the routine sometimes. However, if you're not careful, you do have a routine. And with that routine, your electricity consumption may be that set amount or that set kilowatt per hour. That, that consumption is set at a certain kilowatt because you're doing that same thing over and over again. Unless um, you have a holiday. So if you have holidays, you're, please expect that if you have holidays. Hi, hi, KG Cash. Right. So if you have holidays, you will have a higher electricity bill. And for those of us who love this, this season, you will have, thank you for liking the live. For those of us who have the, the holidays coming up on us, we like pretty, that those pretty things, those pretty lights, those pretty lights that are flashing. And what we tend to do is you can't normally, normally persons don't buy one of those little lights and put on their trees. They have probably two or three packs of those lights strung right around the tree. Some of them play music and it's going. It's going. Now, with that, with that going like that, thank you for liking the like, the live, guys. Thank you for the likes. Right now, with that going, you find that the electricity bill has changed. So you, you now have something that you add to that, to that routine that is sending up that electricity bill. You have something that is adding. Now you're also at home. And being at home, you find that some persons cook. Cooking now, and you, are, you have probably about two holidays when the family is at home, everyone who is heating up that food in the microwave, it is going. So there's an addition because you're, you're on holidays. Thank you, Big Stone. Thank you, Fluffy, for following me. Uh, for all those who have followed me during the live stream, I will be sure to follow you back. But please bear with me. My account on TikTok has been shadow banned. So it will take me probably two more days before I follow you back, but I sure will. So what, ha what is happening now is you find that you have deviated from your norm and deviating from your norm, please expect that bill to go up. And this is how I'm going to tell you now that I blame that power company. We have 
deviated or we have stuck to a particular we have stuck to a particular um wattage or kilowatt for that month or for for how many months um motorola king is saying the wattage on the microwave what about the wattage on the microwave motorola king right so we have stuck to probably 100 watt 100 kilowatts for the entire month and while sticking to it you will find that whatever you paid in january for that 100 watt oh I, I, i'll answer you motorola king is asking what's the wattage on the on the microwave i'll explain it to you shortly now you find that um while your wattage remain the same your bill change and especially for those of us who live in the country that i live in it will change and the reason why it will change is because your power company decide that there are some things that they are going to put more weight on so they put more weight on fuel and ipp and they say that the fuel is because the cost of of fuel is going up or it's it's as a matter of fact i've seen where the, the fuel price goes up however while the fuel price goes up it does come back down at some point i have never seen where 100 watts that you consume for the month goes down never i've only seen it going up um thank you robert and tash and jablas thank you for joining the live please guys for those who are coming in please press that thumbs up on youtube and for those in in TikTok, just tap the, the screen. Um, Motorola King now, he's asking, what is on the, the microwave, what, what they have? I've seen wattages range from 700 to a high of, I think it's 2,400. I've seen 1,200 watts as well. However, the, the the lowest i can find was the 700 watt so that's what wattage you're thinking about and just that wattage of 1002 just imagine you're using that that microwave every day um every hour of the day then the bill is going to shut shut the roof thank you so thank you job last yes yes storm really it it, it will go up so we have to be careful sometimes, guys, as to whatever it is that we use. And yes, um, sometimes it's, it's our fault. It's our fault because I remember, especially for me, my microwave has a high outer smart. Um, I remember for me, the microwave that I have I used to like seeing that light flashing. And because I like seeing that light flashing, I would leave it plugged in, leave it plugged in. And I used that microwave as an indicator for me to know when my electricity is gone. Now, what happened was when I used to come home, and if I see my, my microwave saying simply Samsung, then I know that my electricity was cut during the day. There was some power outage that caused my, my microwave to be saying that. Then I realized that even with those lights flashing on that microwave, those numbers flashing and going, or it's, it's saying some words, your microwave is consuming electricity and those form of electricity that is allowing these things to operate and you're not using them these things are called phantom electricity once you're not using it it's phantom electricity thank you for joining the live for those of you who are coming in on tiktok live please remember to tap that screen 
it's appreciated. Right. So you find that the you find that the um the microwave going was really using up your electricity. So there are some things sometimes that we are doing that we can conserve with. There are things that we may have been doing now that we can conserve with. Um, for those of you who are on YouTube Live, I am going to end my live now. Um, I've done my hour. I normally do one hour on YouTube. I am going to continue on TikTok, so I don't know if you want to slide over on TikTok. I'm there with the same name, Smartphone Server. I want to thank you for coming to the YouTube Live. I will see you next week for another informative topic. Thank you. All right. So for the...